Hey guys, I'm VJ4 or 2 and this is the new series that I'm starting where I'm going to take a look back at some of my earlier work and sort of give you guys some of some insight into the creative process. So I'm going to start off with my first ever fan trailer, which was uh, this one for Jurassic Park 4. So I made this in uh, 2012. This is before uh, the whole Jurassic World uh, nonsense started. Um, essentially, I had no uh, experience making fan trailers. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just making something that I wanted to see. So I, I would have, I wanted to see another Jurassic Park movie, but with the original cast. So I came up with some like super lame story plotline, where uh, John Hammond, the old guy from the first movie. Uh, he dies in this trailer. Um, my After Effects skills were really, really bad. I wanted to have a, a shot with his photo in like a frame on the coffin, but it took me like four hours just to make like a five second clip. So um, I just did a quick fade out and I moved on to the uh, basically setting up the plot of this uh, trailer. As I said, this was my first ever video, so I didn't use like real voice artists. I didn't. I just use like um, a text to audio and there's like a robot voice reading off some like really cliche lines like it's time to finish what they started um and so I, I put a bunch of clips and i just sort of like tried to mix them together to create and i like a, like a flow so that one character is talking to the other character i had a shot with like a dinosaur running down the corridor and she's trying to like close the the lift at least trying to close the lift there's a shot with um, Sam Neill, uh, Alan Grant, and he's trying to like shoot a dinosaur and I put like a little dust cloud that was supposed to represent the bullet missing the dinosaur. I don't know. But anyway, so I made this trailer and like I said, this was in 2012 and I wanted to, I was thinking, how can I sort of like make this old movie series uh, modern in today's age? And the best way, I think I was trying to be funny when I did this, but I thought the best way I can modernize it is to just use like a dubstep remix. So I put a dubstep remix of the original Jurassic Park theme. Uh, I was trying to be funny, like to say like this is like a really bad movie. Um, people didn't like it. People said it was it ruined the trailer, blah blah blah, but I didn't really care. Um, so uh, I, I purchased like this uh, a special effects pack with like dust clouds and dust waves and I put in some like dust like coming to the screen sort of stuff and some blood on the screen so this was like me just learning how to use um, the program After Effects sort of like getting just making something for fun really um, and this video has it's like I said it's seven years old now it's like got 26 million views so it's like it's got a lot of views and the thing is it was always really popular until um, the Jurassic World stuff started coming out because then people thought I was trying to fool them when I made this way before Jurassic World and it used to get lots of like cool comments like oh, I wish this movie would blah 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 and now it's more like just fake 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 but anyway so that was my first ever fan trailer um, I'm gonna jump and do some more modern trailers after this one I just want to get this one out of the way um, hopefully you sort of I don't know get something from this video at the very least um, I don't know, it's, it's something for you guys to uh, think about, I guess, whatever that means. Okay, <laughs> alright, uh, catch you guys around, bye bye.